number theory and induction proofs, or how dominoes help to explain divisibility. Let's start by examining a specific conjecture. A conjecture is a statement that has not yet been proven. It's like an experimental hypothesis. Our conjecture is that 5 divides the sum of 6 raised to the n and 4. And we claim that this is true for all natural numbers. To prove this statement, we'll use something called proof by induction. Induction is like creating a domino effect, where you start by knocking over an initial domino, and watch as dominoes fall going down the line, all the way to a domino that we'll call M being knocked over. And hopefully, in turn, that makes the next domino, m plus 1, tumble. Because if that happens, then the process keeps going and going and going and going and going forever. So let's return to our conjecture. Our first step for a proof by induction is testing believability. We want to show that the statement is true for a specific number, usually the number 1. And that's equivalent to knocking over a starting domino. Thus, we'll suppose that n equals 1 and determine if the statement is true. Because we know that 5 does indeed divide 10. We have reason to believe the statement based on this particular case. Next, we'll move to step 2, which is called the inductive premise. For the premise, we will suppose the statement is true for a generic number m. This is equivalent to domino m being knocked over. Thus, we will suppose that 5 divides the quantity 6 to the m plus 4. Applying our definition of divides, we can rewrite the division statement as a multiplication statement where 6 to the m plus 4 equals 5 times some number k. So now that domino m has been knocked over. What happens to the next domino in the line? This is what's called the inductive conclusion. We want to show that the statement is true for m plus 1. In other words, we want to be certain that domino m plus 1 topples. That means we want to show that 5 divides the quantity 6 raised to the m plus 1 power plus 4, which we'll rewrite as a multiplication problem. 6 raised to the m plus 1 power plus 4 is equal to 5 times something. Starting on the left-hand side of this equation, we can use algebra and rules for exponents to rewrite the expression as 6 times 6 raised to the m plus 4. It's important to recall that domino m told us that 6 to the m plus 4 equals 5k. Thus, 6 to the m equals 5k minus 4. And we can use that knowledge to substitute for 6 to the m. Then we'll distribute the 6. And we get 30k minus 24 plus 4 which is the same thing as 30k minus 20. Well, looky, looky, looky. We have numbers that are multiples of 5. So we remove a common factor of 5, showing that, yes, 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 indeed we can write 6 raised to the m plus 1 power plus 4 as 5 times something. To summarize, a proof by induction involves using a base case to build belief. Supposing a statement is true for a generic number m, then showing that the statement holds for m plus 1, the next largest natural number, thereby showing the statement would be true for all natural numbers. Oops.